Okay, so I'm going to go over some uh, esophageal, um, other esophageal issues um, because we did go over esophageal cancer. So um, first of all, uh, diverticular outpouchings um, can occur, and uh, the symptoms of these are dysphagia, so trouble swallowing, um, regurgitation, so uh, your foods come and kind of back up, um, and that can cause uh, a sour taste in your mouth. Um, so basically these are pouches, as I just said, and, um, it's actually can be relieved by, um, you know, kind of pressing on the pouches, um, that can help sometimes, um, and the complications are, um, malnutrition, right, because if your food gets stuck in the pouch, um, you know, that's, you're, it's not getting down your esophagus, so it's not getting into your stomach, and you get the idea, um, but also aspiration is a big one because if the food gets stuck, um, you can aspirate and aspiration is a big deal. Um, and then also perforation is a big one. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, the next esophageal disease we'll talk about is EOE, which is um, esophageal, um, something with eosinophil. It's basically where the eosinophils um, attack your esophagus, and they um, they basically so you have like severe heartburn, and um, so it's by it's from certain foods you have difficulty swallowing. Um, there can be nausea and vomiting, and there's definitely weight loss. Um, so the treatment for this is a lot of times corticosteroids, um, sometimes PPIs. Um, so that's what that is. Um, esophageal strictures are basically narrowing of the esophagus, and um, it is a complication of GERD. Um, it could be um, because you ingested a strong acid, um, and it can be like any kind of scale. Um, so the symptoms for this are also dys dysphagia, which is trouble swallowing, um, regurgitation, again, and weight loss. Um, so a lot of these do have the same symptoms, um, and we can dilate the esophagus using bougies. Um, so we can go in through um, with an endoscope, an endoscope or a fluoroscope, um, and that will help us dilate the um, esophagus, um, which is needed in esophageal structures. Um, Aclasia is um, peristalsis that's absent in the lower esophagus, so like the smooth muscle part. Um, so the pressure of the lower esophageal sphincter is increased, which means there's incomplete relaxation. And you kind of feel this like globulous, globus sensation. Um, there's substernal pain during mealtime, especially. Um, and uh, yeah, you're not, uh, you have bad breath, um, you're regurgitating. Um, you're unable to belch, um, so there's no burping, um, but you need to burp. Um, so again, that's aclasia. The treatments are in endoscopic um, pneumatic di dilation, which is with balloons, um, which is what we kind of talked about before. Um, we can inject um, we can inject a short-term um, smooth muscle relaxant. Um, and before meals, um, and then varices are, um, are, varices are varicose veins in the esophagus, um, most commonly, um, in the lower esophagus and most commonly, um, caused by liver cirrhosis.